Michael Shinners is, is joining us here, and this is Paul Manners over here. We'll get to Paul in a moment. He's going to be following me around tonight. What a treat that is for him. Uh, Michael, though, you represent Skybet, don't you? I do, Matt, yes. Still? I think it's fair to say this could be the quickest ever interview we've ever done if uh, Rock on Dandy uh, continues his jiggery pokery. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, Q what blessing that would be for the public, wouldn't it? If, if that horse literally just came over, gave us two barrels, we could stop straight away. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, but, uh, yeah, Cuban night tonight. Yes. Weather looking grand do you feel you've really got into the you've really tried to look as cuban as you could well as you've suggested I've, i'm about 10 years too late with the button down collars. never have button down collars no but um, I, i'll get over that paul's um, paul's got the gear on yeah paul and he didn't he, that wasn't a deliberate either we'll get to him in a minute look give us the market movers are there any because it's fairly quiet betting wise yeah steady away um this first race uh, paying four places instead of three um as long as uh, 10 or more run. Obviously, we've got a couple of non-runners, so we're all good there. Um, the bottom one, Neptune Star, always interesting when McEasterby has a runner down here and there's money for it. That's 7-1 to one from 10-1. to one. Um, And then spinning through the card, um, awesome tank of William Haggis is pretty weak in the betting. Um, Air Show's been well-supported in the 6.20. The Skybet Boost is running Cloud, um, which has been well-backed in the uh, 6.50. The Sprint Series, I know that you've really got behind this, Matt. It really is a tremendously well-backed series and well-sponsored. Thank you. Um, Love on the Rocks, uh, 15 to 2 from 10 to 1. That's been well supported. Um, dark shot, um, dropping trip should suit. He's rock solid around that. How many will qualify tonight? Um, <clears throat> well, there's seven in it. And um, as long as you're not last, you've cracked it, right. to be perfectly honest. So, in fact, you don't even need really to run it. I think, you, I think you do, because I think for £7,246.15, it says you do want to run it, and it's a great sponsorship, and we're looking forward to it. Looking forward to the big race on the 21st of August. 7.50, um, uh, obviously we've got a couple of non-runners. Blushing Rose has been popular, and then in the last, the 8.20, uh, probably the best backed horse on the card is this Hollywood Road for Don Cantillon. George Wood taking three off. For someone like Paul, who knows nothing about horse racing at all, one horse you think he might be able to back tonight? Uh, I think Paul should back Canberra Cliffs for the Dapper Don in the 750. Uh, it's been a, it's a market mover. It's 11 to 4 from 9 to 2. But I think that uh, a good, consistent sort, George would take in three off. And I would go for Canberra Cliffs personally. And Paul, the reason you're here tonight is that we were chatting on Twitter the other day and you said you'd never been horse racing. Yeah, thank Just, you very much for having me. Well, no, we're looking forward to it. Just tell our viewers, because they'll be looking at you thinking, crikey, what the hell is this guy doing on telly? Um, you were on Britain's Got Talent in 2015. You did quite yes, well. Yes, I did. I got through um, and there was just a massive public uproar about me not getting through to the semi-finals. But people like you, thank you so much for having me down here today. It's a brand new experience for me and I know nothing from horse racing and I will go with that horse just because you said so. Well, remember, Michael is a bookmaker. He wants you to to lose but but uh <laughs> worth bearing in mind but just tell us because you've already said something quite interesting to me you, you know you're coming racing the first time you were just saying just walking into the race course you yes. were amazed at just how pretty and beautiful it all was just, I, I don't it's it is absolutely brilliant and gorgeous here but i have no idea how everything works and you were just telling me like all the bit we're around here today is where the horses calm down and they put their saddles on so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it so Paul will be joining me throughout the evening. Uh, Michael will try to give him as many losers as he can on the way. Still, this may not be Britain's Got Talent, but there is plenty of talent here on Out of the Races as we head back to the studio. Matt, thanks very much indeed. It's nice he's got a friend in tow tonight. That's, that's uh, going to add to our uh, entertainment from uh, Winter.